In this tutorial, you'll learn how to set up and create a time-lapse video using the time-lapse effect in Video Studio. This technique makes your video project appear to move much faster than it was originally shot. You'll learn about time-lapse photography and how to use the auto-capture feature to capture photos for your time-lapse video. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here, you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. I have Video Studio opened up and I'm going to click on the Capture tab to show you how to auto-capture photos for your time-lapse video if you don't already have the photos taken. Then click on Stop Motion. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure my camera is connected to my computer and select my camera from the drop-down menu on the right. You'll see a live preview of what the camera is capturing in the preview pane. Now I'll change my project name to time-lapse and then select a folder where I want to save my captured photos to. You can also choose where to save the photos directly into the Video Studio library. Next, I'll click on the line icon to enable auto capture and select how many frames you want your image duration to be. I'll select one frame. Now click on the settings icon beside the auto capture icons. This is an important step because before you begin capturing, you'll want to determine how long you want your time lapse to be so you know how many photos you'll need to capture. For example, if you want 15 seconds of skyline footage and you're shooting at 30 frames per second, you'll need 450 photos or frames to be captured because 15 seconds times 30 frames each second equals 450 photos. Next, you'll need to select the interval between each photo. The less time between each photo, the smoother the time lapse will appear. So if I was recording this skyline over a span of two hours, I divide the total recording time in seconds by the number of photos, 450, which means my capture interval would be every 16 seconds. I want to demonstrate this to you quickly, so here I'll adjust the capture frequency, which sets the time interval between each image capture, to every 3 seconds. Now I'll set the total capture duration, which is the length of time I want to run auto capture, to 15 seconds. Then click OK. Now I'll click the red circle icon to start the auto capture. And you'll see that every 3 seconds an image has been automatically captured and I can preview these images by clicking on the thumbnails at the bottom. Once you're finished capturing all the images, click on Save and Exit. Now click on the Edit tab at the top. I already have my images captured to create my time-lapse video, so I need to import them into Video Studio. Right-click on the timeline and select Insert Photo for Time-lapse Strobe. Browse to the location of your photos and click on the first one. Then hold down Control on your keyboard and press A to highlight all the images in the folder. Then click Open. A dialog box will pop up with different settings you can use to customize your time-lapse video. I've just imported 357 photos to use, and by keeping all of the frames with a frame duration of one second each, my time lapse will be just over 11 seconds long. I can press play to preview what it will look like. These settings are ideal for a nice smooth time lapse. But let's say I want the time lapse to be longer. I can increase the frame duration to two frames, and you'll see the total duration changes and now I have a slower playback that is still smooth. Now if I wanted to make this shorter, I have the option to keep or drop a certain number of frames, and this sequence will be repeated throughout all of the photos. To preview this, I'm going to keep one frame and drop two frames. And now press play, and you'll see I have a quick little time lapse which is still very smooth. Once you're happy with your settings, click OK. Give Video Studio some time to render the photos, and all your images will now be added to the video track on the timeline. Now let's say I want to make some quick edits to the time-lapse video before exporting. I'm going to zoom up on the timeline so I can see the clips individually. Then I'm going to right-click on the first image and select Resize Mode. 
Now let's say I want to focus my time lapse on just the sunset. I can drag the image to reposition it and click and drag the orange boxes to zoom up on the sun. Now I'll double click on the first image on my timeline. Then click on the color tab and here I'll adjust some of the settings under color correction to make my time lapse look more dramatic. So now I have my first frame ready, but I need to copy these effects and attributes to all of the images on my timeline. To do this, right click on the first clip on the timeline and select Copy Attributes. Then press and hold Control on the keyboard and press A to select all of the clips on the timeline. Now right click on one of the images and select Paste All Attributes. So let's preview our time lapse and you can see that all of the effects have been added throughout each frame. And now you're ready to export and share this cool time lapse video. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.